Hello and welcome to an overview of how vCenter Configuration Manager 5.7, part of the vC Operations Management Suite, can connect to your vSphere environment and collect vSphere data. So to begin, let's go ahead and log in. And we can see here the vCenter Configuration Manager 5.7 screen. Here we're currently looking at the console and we want to be able to collect data from our vSphere environment. So all the information that will be captured will be shown under the vCenter node. Now, in order to do this, we need to connect to the vCenter server itself, and we'll do that on the Administration tab. So, as a vCenter Configuration Manager Administrator, we can go into the Administration tab and select the Machine Manager mode. Then we'll go to the Licensed Machine node, and then on to the Licensed Virtual Environments node. Here, we will select the Add Machines button. Now, let's go ahead with the basic configuration here and just click Next. Now the first thing we'll do is from the machine type, we'll select from the drop-down list our vCenter server type. In our case today, it is a Linux vApp vCenter server, so we'll go ahead and put in the name of the server right here. Next, we'll need to select the domain that it's in. For our demonstration today, this is part of our corp.local domain, so you can see that's already in there. We'll just select that. Now if it doesn't display, we can simply type that in. And then we can specify the type here, which is just a DNS entry. And we'll simply select that, click Next, and then Finish. Now that we have our vCenter server added to the vCenter Configuration Manager console, we'll next need to click on Configure Settings. This automatically is selected because we had it selected earlier. As we progress through this, we'll specify the managing agent. In this case, it's the vCenter server that we're connected to. Or if we do have a managing agent, we'll select that from the drop-down list. We can specify the port, the user ID, the password, and we'll say yes for this case here. Now you could ignore the untrusted SSL certificate error and we'll just provide the password. And then we'll click on Next and Finish. Now we have vCenter server configured so that we can collect data and bring that data into vCenter Configuration Manager. Now let's actually initiate our very first collection. Again, with the vCenter server selected here, we can now select the Collect button up at the Global Toolbar. Let's click OK. And again, it's automatically selected because it was highlighted already. And we simply click Next. Now we can select all of the virtualization data that we want to collect. In our case today, let's collect all of this so that we can simply select all, or we can select the top node and that will select everything for us. Let's click on next and then finish. So VCM will now go ahead and actually start the collection job that will collect all of this information. We can check on that job by clicking on the jobs button in the global toolbar. Let's go do that here to show that the job has started. Here it is in the list and we can see that it is in collection and the job has started running. Now, we currently do have auto refresh turned on, so the screen will continue to refresh and we can monitor the success of the job as it progresses through. Then we can close the job window. Now, once the collection is complete, let's go into the console slider and see the data in vCenter Configuration Manager. Let's simply open up the console and scroll down from the top to the Virtual Environment node. And under the Virtual Environment node, we have vCenter, where we can go in and see all the different nodes that are underneath that. We can select them on the left or the right hand screen as well. If we click on Summary, we can see the number of Virtual Center machines we are connecting from. Now we can see this machine and we can scroll over to see all of its data. The other option instead of always scrolling over is to simply right click on the row and select View Row Cells. And that will allow us to see all the data related to that specific row on one screen. Now we can move up and down in the different rows by selecting the arrows on the right hand side. So we can see the vCenter server here. We can also see all of the different guests. Here are the different types of tasks that we can invoke against any one of these different machines. We can go in and take a look at a number of different data sets in here as well. Here you can see configuration parameters and again we can scroll to the right or do the view row cells or we can also select that right from the global toolbar up here. We can also take a look at the different networks. VCM provides access to a lot of data in this particular user interface. As we move down to the host, we can take a look at the number of hosts that are in that vCenter server. In this case, we have two hosts, and we can see their status. 
Again, we can take a look at the data regarding the host on one screen and see all the data here and scroll through it all in a single screen. So to recap, we've seen how vCenter Configuration Manager allows you to quickly and easily connect to your vSphere environment and collect vSphere data, making it visible under a series of nodes so that you can easily review configuration information for your environment. And having easy access to all of this data will allow you to capture, track changes, and perform compliance checks against your virtual environment as well. For more information about vCenter Configuration Manager or the vCenter Operations Management Suite, please visit VMware.com. Thank you.